Oh, okay. Mummy. Mummy. Did you watch the M. Night Shyamalan one? <laughs> uh, we don't speak about it. Talk about BDK shirtless. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that. Give me. <gasps> Papa Benson, sorry, sorry. Okay, okay. Settle down, boys. This video is brought to you by Squarespace. All right, and welcome back to the break room. So two days ago, the Avatar The Last Airbender live action trailer came out and we haven't watched it yet because we were on set. So yeah, we wanted to kind of talk about Avatar, the upcoming show and uh, watch the trailer together. What is your guys' experience level with Avatar? Chris, I see that you're dressed up as Aang today. <laughs> Very good. Wait, this is how Aang dresses? Yeah, no. literally the looks color like Aang right It's now. a color scheme. You're like, if Aang was modern day, this is how you would dress. I haven't even seen it. I just, I okay. Way I think, hair, okay, I think I know. I think I know who Ang is, but I, I haven't seen the show. Mm. He is the Airbender, right? Yeah. He's okay. The last Airbender, and he's bald. Yeah. And he has this arrow on his head. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I see. And it. he dresses like this. <laughs> and he dresses yeah. like this. Yeah, with a hoodie and. A I thought he was a monk. No, but the, if he was like modern day. Oh, game. he's modern. You're day. wearing his oh, colors. Okay. Oh yeah. So yeah, have you have you watched anything? With Avatar before? Um, apparently, before this this conversation, I learned that there were four nations. Uh, I know that Fire Nation is the one that, it, quote unquote, breaks the peace. People bend a bunch of elements. Hence, there's an airbender. So I assume there's a firebender and then a water water bender. And then, ben? oh, is there like an earthbender? Oh, yeah. yeah. Wow. Wait, 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 wait. How do you bend the earth? Does it just become flat? Is it flat earth? <laughs> you'll... you'll... <laughs> And then I also know, like, there was a movie adaptation. I didn't watch that either. I think the only other thing I know is that it was, it was like a cartoon and there was like Asian fa fantasy, mythical aspects to it. Mm. It kind of, like, people could kind of see themselves in like an American animated um, show. I think that's kind of the, been the draw for a lot of people. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, I, they didn't draw me. But <laughs> I think it did draw Mish, though, right? You you've been a fan since like day one of this show. I don't know, day one, day one. But I grew up watching this show. I remember even when it was still airing on Nickelodeon, I watched it. And then you know they were uh, promoting also the finale of it, and I watched it live. Too. Was it like a big event on like Nickelodeon? Yeah, I think from like just the commercials and stuff. But um, yeah, I, I actually didn't know other people were watching. I was like in my little bubble <laughs> at that time. I loved it. I even watched um, Korra, which is another a spinoff series from that one. So I watched it as a kid and then I even watched it in my adulthood. And I said... This still hits. <laughs> yeah, I, it's still I, very relevant. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't watch Avatar until I think during COVID because this is when they announced that they were doing the live action. I'm like, oh, I should probably check this show out. And I was like, oh, this show's pretty good. Yeah, because usually older shows when you watch as a kid or something, sometimes you just think it's good because of nostalgia mm -hmm. or you know just growing up with it. But then when I watched it again, adulthood, it's still really good. Did you watch the M Night Shyamalan one? <laughs> I did also in theaters. How was how was that? <laughs> uh, we don't speak about it. I was so excited about it too. You know, all my friends and I were like, we're gonna go buy tickets. We're gonna go watch it. And then when we got out of it, everyone was like, what was that? Do you think because of that experience makes you more or less excited for? Oh, I know for sure it's gonna be different than the movie adaptation. But you know, I just kind of have to keep my expectations just. Just neutral. Tempered because, a little bit. Yeah, tempered. Mm -hmm. I really love the show. I don't know, but I'm excited to see how it's going to be. The one biggest concern, because we, we watched a teaser trailer together mm -hmm. when that came out a couple months ago. Like, my, my concern is like, oh, is it like going to be like a very serious show? Because mm -hmm. the first, the, the original one still felt kind of like lighthearted. It's like childish. Yeah, it's yeah. a little childish. But like, they dropped the trailer. I'm like, oh, this looks so serious. Like... Mm. Is there going to be like any cactus juice in this or anything <laughs> like like a silly silly thing? Is that is that yeah. what was the problem with the Maybe. previous uh, film adaptation? Was that there's a lot of problems? There's a lot of problems. They made bending look really dumb. Like to to bend one rock like this size, there's like eight guys going like, huh, 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 and there's like eight of them, and one one little rock went. <laughs> <laughs> this is the uh, live action Netflix series that's coming out February twenty second. Is ready? Yeah. Yeah. Tonight, we'll be reading the tale of Squarespace. Yay, my favorite! Huh? Once upon a time, beyond the screen's blue light, Wong Fu Productions needed help building their site. 
lost and alone with none who could code. Then along came Squarespace to lighten the load. A platform so perfect, only virtues, no vices. Works on laptops and phones, all the devices. Huh, that's why we need to help build our brand. You get the idea, my smart little man. <laughs> the years we've been around, numbers at 20. Of course, we have projects and content aplenty. And what better way to bring more attention? Squarespace neatly shows our video collection. We can also sell products in an online store, physical, digital, services, and more. Everything's clean and nothing's chaotic. That's perfect for Nara. Reading, be quiet. We're able to access their templates with speed built to fit all of our different needs. Beautiful, but if you're further inspired, customize in any way your heart desires. And that was the tale of Squarespace All Smiles, how we built our site with ease and with style. Thank you, Squarespace, for helping Wong Fu. And you're both asleep, aren't you? Head to squarespace.com slash wongfu for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. The Fire Nation is embarked on a dark path. And the world might never recover. The world needs the Avatar. It needs you, Aang. Wow, blue. So much. There he is. The Fire Nation has destroyed everything. Oh, DDK. DDK. Looks like he dressed like you. If the world is gonna have any chance, it's gonna need Aang. No lighthearted. Yeah. Lighthearted. Right. Yeah. There's the savior of the world. <laughs> okay. Is yeah. It's, it's very. Light. <gasps> Appa or the Angst. My Angst. Honor. Okay, I'm good. Okay. Okay. Okay, DDK. I don't want the responsibility. You don't have to do this alone. Uh -oh. Me, Tara, and a flying ball of fur. What more do you need? Momo. <laughs> Arden. Arden. Oh. Okay, okay, it looks a that lot more good. sick. Okay. Oh, he's so cute. With my friends. With my friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that looks pretty. Okay, Boomy. Nice. Nice. Oh, jet. Okay. So that's when he's entering the Avatar state. Okay. Nice. That, okay, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Yeah, not just like the one rock going like this. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, that definitely looked a lot better than the the teaser trailer. The production looks really yeah. Cool. Looks, I mean, it, looks, it definitely looks really cool. I just don't know what anything is about. Like, mm -hmm. I also just see a lot of fire. And yeah, like, what, Fire Nation is attacking. What does it mean by you going to the Avatar state? So he's he is the Avatar. So he, he has pretty much the embodiment of like his past lives uh -huh. and they can embody him and that's the avatar state when he gets like all the abilities of his uh, past lives that's why he gets stronger at that time mm. Mm. is the airbender usually the strongest no, no not, not necessarily. necessarily there's no one no element that's quote yeah. unquote the strongest the it's like some of the, like the strongest characters in the show like if you saw like ddk's character he's he's uh, a big bad yeah big bad. fire lord ozai he's uh, like the main main, main bad villain. guy yeah did you see uh Paul, I've got his, his Paul, last oh, name. Yeah. Papa from Kitchen yeah, yeah, yeah. He's Uncle Iroh. All another very strong character. They're both firebenders. Are you can it only become a firebender if you're from that nation? Or is it just like can can someone be trained in all of them? Only the Avatar, Avatar. can master They're all, all four, four elements. elements. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's what I was saying. That's no, in the intro. No, or that's just, no, yeah. that's why I was saying earlier. It's like uh, as the Airbender, does that like does he does he like 
uh, bend everything else too. No, it's not just because he's an airbender. It's because he is reincarnated as the Avatar. So only the but, Avatar can master all Yeah, because but when he dies, then it's another person, and that person doesn't need to be an air. Uh, it's, it's a cycle yeah it's a cycle got it, got it, got yeah it. um but then i think it's like genetic is is only like <laughs> genetic it's, 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 it's right like only, it's like a genetic thing about who, what you can bend right because fire nation can only bend fire mm. water nation can only bend water earth bend, earth nation can only bend earth right mm. but then i guess if like in cora i guess if you have you parents that are to, both you, yeah it could be yeah. yeah it's just but you don't have i don't think you necessarily have to be born in the fire nation to be a firebender but it just so happened that these are geographically placed the nations mm, based mm, on mm, what mm, mm. element that they can just like how water tribes are like more or north and south poles that's why they're near the water and then like fire uh sorry and then like earth is more in like a mm. wait can area. someone from like the fire nation learn how to water bend no i'm saying like they don't need to be like that He's asking if it's like they are born, if they're born there. Oh, I think it's just, it's a genetic thing, right? That's what I always thought. I don't know. But <laughs> anyways, anyways, yeah. But now all I'm thinking about is that fire bending a place, the fire nation, it just looks really hot. It's hot. It's, it's I hot. mean, there's a lot of yeah. fire there. Well, even like the fire nation looks really cool. I think definitely like the set design looks, um, like they, they did a really good job. I think this, the world looks very. A lot more alive. Yes, than, a lot more alive. I haven't seen a lot of the M Night Shyamalan, but even like the scenes I've seen, I'm like, oh, this does not look great. But even like uh, like the few snippets of like showing the Fire Nation, like, oh, that looks really good. So she's a waterbender. Yeah. So Katara is a waterbender. Who's the guy in the back? That's her That's brother. That's her brother Sokka. Oh, they're also waterbenders. No, but um, he doesn't bend anything. Yes. Oh, so you so you still have to be just trained. So game. you're born it. You're just born whether you're a bender or not. Yeah. So there are people in this is show that don't <laughs> start bullying. There's a little bit of oh, discrimination. Oh, is that the cabbage man thing? It's a little bit of discrimination, yeah. you know. There's some <laughs> people that don't bend, and then there's uh, people that bend. Oh, that sucks, man. Yeah, but it looks really cute. Um, the Aang, he's so cute when he said, "You should save the." World. What did he say? Uh, save I'm gonna save the world, the world with, with my, my friends. friends. <laughs> <laughs> it's always about the power of friendship. Yes, um, <laughs> it's really cute, and yeah, uh, we were talking about you know the tone of it. I feel like there's a good, hopefully from the trailer, it looks like a good mix. Yeah, uh, which is how the show is as well, where you know the first two seasons or something, or are like pretty like childish and stuff. Well, because it is catered mm -hmm. to kids, and then but there are certain very uh, serious episodes, so it looks nice. Yeah, and uh, and yeah. they said his name correctly. Huh? They didn't call him Ong. Yeah, Ong. <laughs> but it's Aang. And yeah, everything looks so colorful and nice. And at least for the bending part too, um, I like from the few point seconds that we see, you know, there's some martial arts aspect into it, which I find important because each element has their own kind of martial art skills that they put into that. So I think like this is when they're on like Omashu Island, right? Or not, oh, no, not yeah. Omashu. Um, but um. Kyoshi? Kyoshi Island. Right. Like, that looks pretty good. Yeah, when they're blocking the fire and stuff. How, how do you feel about, like, the controversy of, like, I remember, like, people were really excited, but then, like, the creators left? Mm. Like, how, how does that make you feel as a fan? Mm. Yeah, definitely something to think about about because i think it's very important for them to be part of it since you know they know so much of the lore and they even you know made stories still past the series so it is a concern but okay. you know i guess we'll see we'll see but, what happens but were they involved in the film no. no the creators were not no they like uh, renounced the film didn't they yeah like they haven't renounced this yet but they did leave so uh, that's I see. Well, yeah we'll see. it's a bit of a concern but we'll see chris as a as someone that hasn't seen the original show yeah, it looks it looks really cool i'm also like Did i'm also it? aware of like the some of the people who are like behind the scenes on mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. would you watch um, it yeah i would watch it yay yeah i'd watch it and um, then he'll watch the actual animated series hopefully hopefully if this is if this is really very short if this is like above average then yeah, i'll go i'll go watch are, are you okay even if it's like a pretty close like one-to-one -one, like where you're like oh i'd just be watching the same thing but animated would, would that bother you if the acting's really good yeah it bothered me okay okay <laughs> oh the other thing is it was good to see like a couple like friends of wong fu in there as well mm -hmm. there was uh we saw arden, arden. um and then she looks great yeah ddk <laughs> it was cool really seeing both of them in this i think it's excited that uh yeah just that there's people that were that wong fu's friends with that's that's in the show 
Talk about BDK shirtless. Go ahead, Mish. <laughs> Respectfully, BDK Fire Lord Odai. Was he shirtless in the show? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we stopped and looked at. He paused it at that. I'm, scene. I'm just helping you, Mish, right now. Is that is that your favorite? That was great. Trailer? Was he shirtless right. in the show, though? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Oh, this is right. accurate. Okay. You know, they burn off their clothes because they're too hot. Too hot. It seems Love like it. there's more, like, East Asian... Like, the Fire Nation has a little more East Asian aspects to it in terms of, like, wardrobe and then uh, architecture and set design. I think, in, in general, in the show, it's, it's mostly based off East Asian cultures in general. I think there was, like, earlier, like, the, the water bending seems a little more... There's a little bit more, like indigenous or like it's like inuit i think is like the inuit oh like so. like yeah like the ice like um alaska and yeah yeah oh, okay okay so i think that's where the inspiration is mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um i'm not sure where earth and fire specifically but but they're all like roughly inspired by asian um east asian east asian cultures yeah, but this looks south asian or east yeah or southeast, southeast asian south this asian. looks southeast yeah. asian right here is there anything mish that you want to see different than what they did in the original like cartoon show no you want exactly the same perfect it's perfect the it's way perfect? that it is well yeah why would i want to, why would you want to change the original source material i think i personally would like to see it i'd like the epilogue to be a little bit longer oh oh you mean like oh for the the end of the series i think just in general it's any changes that mm. i'd want to see because i feel like the ending there's a couple like things that like oh i wish it had a slightly longer yeah at the end of the series, yeah, 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 they didn't wrap it up as well. But, you know, you could always find the continuation of those stories. You have to read it, though. Yeah. Oh, darn. I really liked how the original show was. So I wouldn't change it. You wouldn't change anything? No, I don't think so. But I guess, yeah, I would agree with the ending of it. But as for season one, I'm excited to see how they, how they would do it. If it's one-to-one -one or... They're adding or removing some storylines, but I hope no removing storylines though. Is he is so do they so he goes on like an Odyssey? His journey is mastering the four elements. Uh -huh. So he's already a master of air. Uh -huh. But he needs to master air, water, mm -hmm. earth, fire, and generally it's supposed to be in that order too. Oh, okay. Um so he's kinda of going around the world and then he has to do it mm -hmm. so he can save the world from the Fire Nation. From from DDK. Mm -hmm. From DDK okay got it it's like collecting the infinity stones but and, he's collecting and by the time once he got all of them down then he glows up no he can do that now it's uh, like when he reaches nirvana that's yeah, reaching the it. avatar state got it I'm saying got it, got it in it. all regular terms for everyone to understand <laughs> oh that's cool that's cool that's cool so we're actually making a couple of pieces of content for avatar in general uh we actually got to do an interview with ddk for spill the boba tea that's really exciting that should be coming out soon also uh we are going to be making a fun little uh sh comedy sketch about avatar as well and it's going to be um kind of like a more silly approach to it um, yeah just stay tuned and yeah we'll see you guys in the next one bye, bye.